Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I uh, just wanted to say a quick thank you. I'm, uh, I'm actually over 2,000 subscribers now. Very cool. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, so I've had some requests about how I handle uh, keyword changes. Um, if we go over here to the uh, package.use, uh, let's just actually back up a little bit. Uh, you see that instead of having a file called package.use, and a file called package.unmask and package.mask. So if we go to, you see in here we have actual files inside of a folder called package.use. So the way this works, so what I did here is just an update and it wants to make some keyword changes. And so the GST plugins, a few different versions need update to the, unsta or the, the uh, unstable version. And would you like to add changes to your config files? So what this does when you say yes to do, would you like to automatically make changes to your config files is it will go to, uh, actually what I need to do is uh, CD keywords. So the same thing here, we have a uh, folder called package except keywords and inside are files. So what this will do is it'll go to keywords. If you have package.accept keywords as a file, uh, then what it'll do is it'll go to that file and append it to the end of the file called package.accept keywords, right? So you'll have whatever was in there before and then this will be cut from right here, right there down to there will be appended to the end of the file called package.accept keywords. But if you have a folder called package.accept keywords, it'll go into this folder and what it'll do is it'll go to the last file in this case ZZ template and we'll append it to that last file. So whatever's in this last file, it will take that file, whatever's in that file, append to the end of that file, and then copy it as a dot config. So if it, you know, it'll append it to the, so it'll, it'll say dot CFG or something like that, something something ZZ template it'll make a hidden file and again what it that hidden file will be is whatever is in this last file plus the appended addition of this to that file so what I do in this case is uh, I make a empty file called ZZ template so if we just cat out ZZ template it's empty uh, so what it'll do is it'll go it'll take this right here and append it to the end of nothing, essentially, and we'll call it .cf something something zz template. So, what if you had YouTube Viewer was your last file? So let's cut out YouTube Viewer. It'll have if you were to not have zz template, it would take YouTube Viewer and would have this right here, and right immediately after this would be appended these. So the reason I like to have an empty file is because what if you at some later date want to get rid of this file here? Like uh, it's not this isn't a very good case because it's a you know you're not gonna there's not a whole lot of ramifications of just installing the unstable package YouTube viewer but if there was something later like in package.use for example where you're pulling in different use flags for some package and you had this in every time you were to ex add these whatever recommended changes if you try to go back and change it you may have four or five who knows how many different copies of that line that got copied over to because of the way it, it appends to the end and and, and uh, uh, moves it so in order to kind of to uh, a little bit more of an example hopefully that makes sense um, it's not as useful in accept keywords as it is in package.use, but it's the same idea. So let's just um, echo one into ZZ template and then cat out ZZ template just so you can kind of see. So we see we just added a one in there so that you guys can see it. So what we're going to do now is say yes. Go ahead and do that. So now what it says here, config file package except ZZ template needs updating. So we go here, LSLA, you see when we go up here, 
right here dot cfg zz template so this is the file that's created so what it did so let's just uh, cat out dot cfg template you'll see that there's this one here and remember that's what we added to zz template so whatever would have been in there this would be appended to it it's exactly this and would be copied as dot cfg so in this case um, let's look real quick if I have a GST plugins. Plugins bad. Uh, this will be so what I'm gonna uh, just gonna call it plugins. I'm just gonna move the dot config to just GST plugins. And then we cut out GST plugins. And again, that's that file. So I'm going to go in here just because we added that one and just delete it. And then I'm going to edit ZZ template to get rid of that one. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so now, if we again, we cut out GST plugins, that's what it wanted to make a change to. And the reason it's empty is so that you don't have to you know let's cut out wxgtk just just real quick so these are all just one line because you're basically unmasking a hidden or a uh, unstable package but if we go to cdu uh, 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 oh, just you sorry so if we if we take a ls here and we cut out webkit gtk so say say we didn't have zz template you see this has webkit gtk gnome keyring uh, let's cut out uh, Thunar. So that has all these types of things like this. So if these happen to be the last file in this folder, this would be the first line when you automatically un add to your config file, right? And again, that's why ZZ template is empty, so that you don't have to worry about having several copies of it. So again, if you want to, I'm going to say it one more time. Hopefully, it sticks. If it's confusing to anybody. If you had the last file was WebKit GTK and not empty, then if you were to automatically change keywords, then this would be in something, you know, this right here would be in whatever that package was that you were adjusting. And say at some later date you wanted to get rid of this GNOME you know, keyring on WX or WebKit GTK, you would expect to just go to WebKit GTK, remove that package or remove this or add something. And you would have to remember that whatever one you moved, you know, you would you would touch it with this config and then rename it to whatever package you're installing. You'd have to remember that it was somewhere else too, and it would just be a nightmare. So it's easier just to have an empty file at the end. It's always going to append it to the end and copy it. So hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. So when you do this auto keyword change or auto use change, uh, then it always going to add it to the end. So I mean, a, a good one, a good example is a cat. Uh, what was it? Let's see if I can find it. Is it pi? No, cat. Oh, it's cute for sure. So this was this was a file that uh, created with cute browser. It needs a whole bunch of, of use changes uh, with the Python 3.5. And if you were to do this, and if it was, this was your last one, and then you, you, your last file, and then you appended something else, then you'd have this copied every time, and that's just not a good idea. So yeah, again, you, you auto unmask it, then you go to wherever, you go to this file here, except keywords, and move the dot cfg, dot underscore cfg, to the name of the package that you just updated. In this case, it was kind of hard to pick because it's GST plugins, something, something but they just need to un, uh, make the unstable version as well pull in the unstable versions in this case and if some later date you know I don't want an AMD 64 G streamer anymore then I can go in and just delete that one file do an update and it's all good to go right so alright well hopefully that makes sense thanks again for the 2k that's really cool it's been a while but uh, it finally happened and we'll talk to you next time